Rick Kong here for Hollywood First Look. Today, I'm with the cast of Slow Horses. Let's take a first look. I, I don't normally do these kind of speeches, but this feels like a big moment. I know it's not easy being banished from MI5 to my department, but that's on you. Only screw-ups get sent to Slough House, and I've got to be honest, working with you has been the lowest point in a disappointing career. Right. What are you looking for? The remnants of a once promising career. Slough House is like prison. You're not supposed to ask what you're in for. I actually want to be useful. I could not be more bored if I tried. You probably know how many people have made it back from Slough House to upstairs here at Regent's Park. Bringing you up the speed is like trying to explain Norway to a dog. None. Come check this out. Hostage. He's being held here. There is something finally happening. What has it got to do with you? Whatever's going on will be handled by the real agents. So last night I was thinking to myself, it's like, you know, when I wake up, well, I know I'm going to be, I'm going to be the man who's interviewing you. Nice. <laughs> That's very good. Yeah. Congratulations, gentlemen. I watched the whole series. It's a lot of fun. So Gary, I got to start with you. When it comes to like doing a series versus film, I mean, what's the experience for you? You could breathe a little more, I think, with the character. It allows it allows for that. You don't you're not under pressure with that sort of two hour window to, to tell the story. And often often I find that, you know, character has to be cut to keep keep the trajectory of the story going. Um, because you have a time limit. With this, um, the the challenge the challenge with this is it's we shoot in blocks. It's block shooting, so that means coming in, you've really got to have the the whole series, you know, in your head, like like a play. Um, and I found, um, mate, you look you you probably you're you're younger than me. You learn lines very quickly, don't you? Yeah, really. Yeah, and, really, and very early on, uh, but really quickly. Very quickly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We both learn lines early on. I think I probably just take a little longer now than. Nah. Yeah, but you. I found that. I found that. I found that quite challenging. It's. It's a lot to. Um, you know, you'll do more in one episode and maybe less in another. But when you when you look at the overall. It, it's six episodes and you've got to retain, you've got to learn the six. I found that, I found that quite mm -hmm. sort of quite challenging and, or, or not, or just, it was just a new experience. It was a new, a new, a, di a sort of different way of looking at the work. Yeah. Being in a TV series is a new experience for me because, you know, I've never done it before and um, I'm not sure how to, do long form TV, you know, it's, it takes a while to get used to it because it's very disjointed, it requires a different form of concentration, and it's not something I was, you know, used to. I do theater, I do m very low budget films where you have to cram everything into to three weeks, you know, I'm used to speed and tension. Um, and this was, there was plenty of speed and tension, but it was really long. Jack, you know, you're one of the big leads. So I was wondering, you know, this is based on a book series. So I don't know at any point in time if you decide to pick up the book series to get a more better idea of your character. I did after I shot, after we shot the first six, after we shot Slow Horses, I, I picked it up and had a look at it um, because, um, I've always loved reading the book after you've made it or um but with this the sort of wonderful advantage of then we shot the next book Dead Lions which is sort of season 1 part 2 um it was wonderful to to I did it I did it by audiobook and having all of the characters in my head and knowing what they looked like the world that we had created that we knew exactly what it looked like it was quite wonderful to read the book um and imagine everything um, but uh, I, I, they are brilliant, brilliant books. And I think, um, you know, I, it's, I just, I was ashamed that I didn't know about them before, but I'm glad I didn't because I imagine the pressure 
would be a lot different. Some ideas have blossomed in the, the film script that were just nuggets in the book, you know, so that's been wonderful to see what they've really taken and run with. But, um, I, and I love the fact that having read them, you then see the slapstick, you see, you see the jokes, you see the extreme. The show is Slow Horses. You can find it streaming on Apple TV Plus now. You put lives in danger. This is off the box. I am directing personnel, yours or anybody else's. She's covering her tracks. But it's the covering of the tracks that always gets you in the end. You really care about them, don't you? No, I think they're a bunch of absolute losers. But they're my losers. <laughs>